Here we are at the dashboard and the first thing to notice is that the access point count is now two because I've added another access point since we did the registration module. And in your case, you may have a number of access points here as well. Well, we look at the main map area here and we can see there are no access points shown. We can scroll around the map and move it, but there's no access points actually shown on the map. Let's go to monitor and look at the access points. Here under monitor access points, we can see details on the access points themselves. So let's first of all get these access points located and we're going to go to configure maps to do that. A map then is a floor plan of the location where you've got the access points. There's a sample here, we're not going to use it, but I'll just show you what the sample is. This is a floor plan. Now if you're following along this video while you're doing the configuration on your zone director and you don't yet have a floor plan, I suggest you pause, take a minute, grab a floor plan where you've got your access points installed and then come back. So we need to create a new floor plan. Before we do that, I'm just going to drop the resolution down to 125. And the reason for that is because we need to be able to see the map as we bring it in. So let's create new. I shall call this head office. And the description can be anything you want. Main building one, for example. Then we put an address in and this is a really useful uh, lookup feature. So I'm going to do West Java Drive, which is the ruckus um, headquarter building. And you see that it adds a latitude and longitude. And this is going to be extremely useful for locating the access points. Now we need a floor plan. So I'm going to choose a file. Now this isn't the ruckus building. This is just a generic office floor plan that I've bought in. I'm going to import that. And this is our building. And now we need to put in a scale. So we'll click two points on the building. So let's go from here to here. And we'll say that that is 25 meters. Hit next. And there we have the floor plan. We also have some access points. Here are the access points that we brought into the system and I can click on this access point and drag and drop to a location on the map. I'll bring the second and I'll show that one on the map here. And now we have our two access points located. Click finish. And if we now go back to the dashboard and look at the map, scroll out. And there we have our two access points located on the map. We hover over the access points and we get information on them. Head office, we can zoom into the map, which means zoom into the actual location on the floor plan. Uh, if we zoom into the map, we can see the access points, hover over the access point and we will get some information. Green is good, so the access point is obviously up and running. Something else that we can do is we can select signal coverage and it takes a couple of seconds for that to come in. And that should show us any second. This is the estimated signal coverage of the access points based on the scale that we set for the map. Now this is just for guidance. It's obviously not going to be realistic because of the walls. The, the um, zone director has no way of knowing where the walls or the furniture are. So it's just roughly for guidance. We can show in five gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz. Again, it takes a second for this information to refresh. There's five gigahertz. We can also view rogue access points. Rogue access points, if you remember, are access points that aren't managed by our zone director. So let's click for rogue access points. Well, we're not really detecting anything close to us here. So they're not located on the map, even though we are detecting rogue access points. Let's have a look and see. Put 2.4 and 5 on. So, so far, we're not picking up any rogue access points. So fantastic. So now we have a map, which is a floor plan here. We have the access points located on the floor plan. We can see the health of the access points and we can go back to the main map and see the access points located. They're up, they're healthy. We can see they're green, so they're on. We can hover over them so we can clearly see where the access points are and how they're doing. And this is fantastic, a very, very useful tool. Thank you.